pleasant day to everyone. Today, we're going to talk about energy flow and traffic levels. Ecology of ecosystem. Ecosystem is a community of organisms interacting within a particular physical environment, or an ecosystem is a community, thus it's a biotic factors, give an example, soil, rain, temperature, and many more. Virtually, all energy on Earth comes from the sun via photoautotrophs, or primarily plants, and it is ultimately distributed throughout ecosystems. Primary producers are the autotrophs, while all other organisms are considered to be consumers. Consumers which eat plants are called herbivores. Consumers which eat animals are called carnivores while organisms such as humans, which eat both plants and animals, are called omnivores. Decomposers, which includes fungi and bacteria, obtain their energy by breaking down the remains or products of organisms. Detritivores are decomposers, which eat detritus, or organic waste and dead organisms. Structure of Ecosystems Energy flows through ecosystems via food webs, intricate pathways of energy flow and material cycling. Ecosystems are arranged by tropic levels between various producers, the autotrophs, and consumers. The autotrophs, first tropic level, contains the autotrophs, which build energy containing molecules. They also absorb nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, and other molecules necessary for life. They provide both an energy fixation based as well as the nutrient concentration based for ecosystems. There are two types of autotrophs. The first one is the photoautotrophs, which are plants and some protista. The next one is called chemoautotrophs. Those bacteria or some of the bacteria are considered to be chemoautotrophs once they are able to use substances around them to gain more food. Second tropic level contains the primary consumers which eat the primary producers including herbivores, decomposers, and detritivores. Give an example, insects, grasshoppers, deer, and wildebeest. Third tropic level contains the secondary consumers, primary carnivores which eat the herbivores, like for example the mice, spiders, and many birds. Fourth tropic level which contains the tertiary consumers, secondary carnivores who eat the primary carnivores like weasel, owl, sharks, and wolves. Food chain. A linear food chains are described above are probably rare in nature because the same food source may be part of several interwoven food chains and many organisms have several food sources. Decomposers play a role in ecosystem but are often not represented on food chains. Food chains. Producer. First order consumer of or herbivore second order consumer or first order carnivore, third order consumer or second order carnivore, fourth order consumer or third order carnivore, and decomposers that consume dead and decaying matter as bacteria. These are the composition of the food chain. Food web. Many food chains in relation to each other are called food web. Energy flows through ecosystem via food webs, intricate pathways of energy flow and material cycling. Ecosystems are arranged by trophic levels between various producers, the autotrophs, and consumers. The autotrophs, the heterotrophs I mean, we have first trophic levels, contains the autotrophs, which build energy containing molecules. They also absorb nitrogen phosphorus, sulfur, and other molecules necessary for life. 
They provide both an energy fixation based as well as the nutrient concentration from the, organ from the ecosystem. There are two types of autotrophs, photoautotrophs, which we consider the plants and some protista, and chemoautotrophs, like the bacteria. Again, linear food chains as described above are probably rare in nature because the same food source may be part of several interwoven food chains and many organisms have several food sources, like what is being discussed in the food web. This is a food web, which contains the producers and decomposers, the primary consumers, secondary consumers, and the tertiary consumers. And as you can see, they are made up of many organisms that are linked together by the eat and eaten relationships. Second trophic levels contains the primary consumers, which eat the primary producers, including herbivores decomposers and detritivores, like the insects, grasshoppers, deer, and wildebeest. The third trophic level contains the secondary consumers, like the primary carnivores, which eat the herbivores, like the mice, spiders, and birds. Fourth trophic level contains the tertiary consumers, secondary carnivores who eat the primary carnivores, like weasels, owls, sharks, and Energy flow through ecosystem Gross primary productivity is the rate at which the primary producers capture and store energy for units of time. Since the primary producers expend energy during respiration, the net primary productivity is considerably lower than the gross productivity. Productivity is usually measured as biomass, which means dry weight of organic matter per unit area for a specified time interval. The tropic structure of an ecosystem is often represented by, a by an ecological pyramid, with the primary producers at the base and the other levels above. Most of the food eaten by organisms is converted to biomass are used to maintain metabolic functions or loss as heat, only about 10% of the energy mix it to the next level. Energy flow and the tropic level. The amount of energy at each tropic level decreases as it moves through an ecosystem. As little as 10% of the energy at any trophic level is transferred to the next level. The rest is lost largely through metabolic processes as heat. If a grassland ecosystem has 10,000 kilocalories of energy concentrated in vegetation, only about 1,000 kilocalories will be transferred to primary consumers and very little, only 10 kilocalories will make it to the tertiary level. Energy pyramids such as this help to explain the tropic structure of an ecosystem. The number of consumer tropic levels that can be supported is dependent on the size and energy richness of the producer's level. This massive energy loss between tropic levels explains why food chains can contain more than a few levels. It takes billions of primary producers to support millions of primary consumers which supports a few secondary consumers. This is why there are so few large carnivores on Earth. An energy pyramid is a more useful way to depict an ecosystem's tropic structure. Each block of the pyramid is proportional to the amount of energy it contains. Pyramids may also represent biomass or number of, of individuals. The energy pyramid concept helps explain the phenomenon of biological magnification, the tendency for food substances to increase in concentration at progressively higher levels of the food chain. And then, again, we talk about here energy flow and tropic levels. Thank you and goodbye.